For me, the most challenging thing about the process of typeface design is probably that um, having been doing this for like, getting on for 20 years now, um, with every single project, there is always some new issue or, you know, challenge or problem that I have never encountered before and have to figure out uh, for the first time. Um, and, you know, whether that's like some, it's usually some kind of crazy optical, um, you know, uh, oddity that, that has just never occurred before and all the, you know, various types of forms that I've worked with. Um, so, um, and the way I resolve that for myself um, is to just kind of remain humble in the, <laughs> in the face of this um, task that we all uh, somewhat foolishly maybe undertake. Um, and, you know, recognize, you know, the bad news is there's always something new to learn, but the good news is there's always something new to learn. Um, about it. And, you know, when you're first starting to create a new typeface, um, which like for me is the most fun part of any project, um, it's also the hardest, um, that if you create, if you, if you give it, oh, how do I put it? If you kind of plant the right seeds, um, if you uh, kind of create DNA that's working um, as you start to get into it, the typeface will start to teach you what it needs. Um, and that's when you know you've really hit a groove with it. And often that means, you know, it might be drawing characters that are a little further into the character set than, you know, your average test word, or you just never know when you're gonna hit a character that has the particular combination of forms that really crystallizes, um, uh, you know, what you're trying to do, whether you know what you're trying to do or not. So, um, and, for me, the best way to achieve that is, and for me, one of the most key things about this uh, process is to create really um, informative proofs so that you can really see what you're doing um, and spend as much time or more time looking than you spend drawing. <laughs>